Hello and welcome to a new video tutorial for VR Easy. In this tutorial we'll go a little bit more in depth with uh, on how to use the send message action. As we can remember in our VR element we have different action types so the send message. We have a separate video on like an introduction on how to use the send message but in this case we'll go a little bit more in depth. So just to recall, what is the send message action? This action sends a message to a game object via the send message function and allows you to call any method on any script or component attached to a game object. So in order to explain more what we can do with this is we, are, we will use uh, easy movie texture because Currently, uh, Unity doesn't support uh, video texture that we can use on mobile, so it has to go through a third-party support. In this case, uh, we recommend using Easy Movie Texture. Um, and we just opened a very basic scene. It's like a plane. We have a another plane where we have attached the media uh, player controller so anybody we, this is not a tutorial on how to use uh, easy movie texture very basic is how to set up is we, I opened the demo one of the demo scenes that is uh, included in the easy movie texture asset and what it does you see that there's a media play uh, controller script and there are different methods attached to the script so I will show you, for example, if I play the scene, you see that there is a play, stop, a load and seek to. If I just hit the, this is like a standard uh, media control sample GUI that comes along with uh, easy movie texture as well. So if I hit play and then it will start playing the video. So, and but this will not work uh, together with VR Easy. So to make this easy, I will just turn off this media sample and on the video manager, as I said, this has a media uh, player controller script attached. What I will do is create a button, just drag and drop like a basic uh, icon that we included, like a play, play. play and we call it this play and we'll put it as a normal so we want to place it next to the cooldown and in this list of action types we select send message we had add action we will add a text button underneath a text we call it play and we'll say create button so I went ahead I will copy think is eight because I wrote it down not to lose any time while explaining just placing an icon if you went through the steps already before and how to do this uh, then five, three five so that can stay the same I will make this If I open the game object, we'll see that there's a big play, but in this case it doesn't matter actually uh, the, uh, how we set it up, because you can play with it. We just duplicate this and we'll make this stop. We can change the text as well. We say stop. Then we just select this and move it to the other side. We see we can rotate it as well. So for the play, we have the send message. As I mentioned earlier, in we want to control all the methods that comes along with the media player control. So in the play, I, we selected the receiver. We wanted the, the video manager as our receiver. You will see that the component suddenly has the media player controller. If we select that one and then suddenly we have access to all of the methods that comes 
with the video uh, manager with the or with the script so if I say play and then set event and if I want to test this I just go to my camera and as you know from the previous tutorials as well we have to set it as a site if we want to just uh, select it select our camera because we're looking to our camera add site selector then we want a crosshair just make the size like this and just to make it too easy we will add the mouse HMD just is easy to look around and select and if I now hit the play uh, oh no we have to stop because I don't want to but auto plays off if I now hit play and select my button the VR and it start playing yeah, suddenly when something but I think maybe the scaling but uh, and then we can do exactly for the stop again the video manager transform we call, select the media play controller as you can see this is the transform media media could play controller mesh filter mesh renderer and if I select my video manager we have the transform media player mesh renderer so again at the stop we select the video manager media play control in this now we just say stop set event if I now play now I can say stop that's easy how easy it is so in this way we can we can actually support any type of uh, method is attached to any game art rack or like a script so we can read all the methods that's uh, included in the script so hope this example um, was a little bit clear if not just you can go to a blog on blog.avrworks.com uh, just post uh, your any comments and we will be uh, and we will respond to it thank you and uh, till the next tutorial